So day one out here on Mona Island, absolutely fantastic. It's well worth the trip. This is a challenging place to get to. It's about 40 to 46 miles west of Puerto Rico and about the same distance east from the Dominican Republic here in the Mona Passage. Oh my gosh, the diving is absolutely spectacular here. There are healthy reefs, crystal clear water, worth it. We've done two dives today so far. I got two more on tap, but let's take a look at the first two dives from the day. The best way to dive this corner of the world is on a liveaboard dive boat called the Juliet. Our first dive is at a site called Bubbles and Blossoms, but also known as the Kraken. But that's Kraken spelled with a C and not a K and not the Kraken that you're thinking of. The site gets its nickname, the Kraken, after a large crack in the wall that extends straight down. It descends down over 600 feet, or over 182 meters, and is teeming with sea life. I level off around 80 feet or 24 meters and follow the wall and stare out into the abyss below. Curious blackjack swims by to greet us. The intense colors of the reef on the wall come to life in the lights in my camera and only give way to the dark blue that surrounds us. Just before ascending up the top of the wall, our friendly blackjack returns. The wall here on Mona Island extends for miles in either direction and is nearly a perfect 90 degree angle drop off. Take a minute and enjoy the silence and beauty of a world that looks like it has been folded upon itself.
swimming back to the boat, it's time to prepare for our second dive. This time at a site called cul-de-sac, named after two circular sand patches that sit atop the wall. Back in the water, it appears as if we're headed towards the end of the world. This section of the wall is teeming with black durgeon triggerfish amongst a large school of creole wrasse that flow by as if they're single-minded. A lone barracuda patrols the depths out in the distance. Back along the wall, there are a few overhangs to explore. Ducking inside, I find another blackjack swimming in circles. There's more patch reef atop this section of the wall with large schools of reef fish. But I think the best way to explore this area is at night. After waiting for the sun to go down, I jump back in and immediately find a lone octopus it darts behind a small coral head, but maintains a watchful eye. Outside the range of my lights, it's complete darkness. but the wall is compelling me to take a closer look. The sea life that is out at night is impressive. A lone crab sits atop a rock, and I swim past to check him out. Before long, I find another clinging to a giant barrel sponge. A tiny spotted moray hides in the cracks of the sea floor, and a southern stingray is out hunting in the night. One of my favorites, a tiny burrfish, hides in the soft corals. And a slipper lobster is out for a walk in the dark.
make sure to check out our video on diving Mona Island's sister island, Monito Island, next. And if you haven't yet subscribed, definitely hit that subscribe button below so that you never miss a dive. But guys, we will see you next time underwater.